it's Don, and it's Tesla time. So I've been promising y'all a little update about the charging efficiency. Uh, I, if you remember, when I installed the NEMA 1430 receptacle into my sub-panel, I also installed a kilowatt hour meter that I got from eBay. And in using that setup to charge the Tesla for uh, a couple weeks, I was seeing um, the charging efficiency was pretty low, like 37%, and um, meaning that um, I was buying uh, 100 kilowatts of electricity from the uh, utility company, paying for 100 kilowatts, but yet I was only getting 65 kilowatts of kilowatt hours, excuse me of energy to drive the car and this is based on using the trip meter in the Tesla to tell me how much energy the car used to uh, drive uh, move the car how much energy was used to move the car and um, that there was an assumption I made and that's what's going to come back uh, I'm going to talk about here in a moment but anyway so the 65% efficiency uh, that I was seeing could be possibly my little meter that I got from eBay wasn't accurate enough. Uh, although I had used these meters for years for monitoring my air conditioner and my water heater, um, you know, maybe there's this one is was off because this was a new meter that I do and did install. So I decided to go and use a analog kilowatt hour meter very similar to the one well it is one that you would have on the side of your house a few years ago back when most of the meters are analog or analog now they've all or most areas of the US at least have switched to digital kilowatt hour meters uh, the first meter I had which I've had for like 25 years I, I got from somewhere I didn't know if it worked or not sure enough when I hooked it up it didn't work so I went out to eBay again and I bought another uh, analog kilowatt hour meter for $26 free shipping. It's a used meter. Uh, it's been calibrated and certified and it's guaranteed for two years. So I was, I'm pretty confident that this uh, analog kilowatt hour meter is going to be pretty accurate. So I wired up a, a cord that would plug into the receptacle and I added another NEMA 1430 uh, receptacle and also a NEMA 1450 receptacle if I want to charge it 50 amps. So I've been tracking the measurements, what this meter has been reading and also what the uh, digital meter uh, has been reading for uh, five days now. And the end result is my digital meter is very accurate. The analog meter and the digital meter uh, out of 161 kilowatt hours total, which has been measured over the five uh, nights that we've charged, they're only off by 2.3 kilowatt hours. So one of them, the digital meter has read 161 kilowatt hours, and the analog meter has read 158.7. It's for a difference between those two of uh, 2.3 kilowatt hours. So we're well within. Uh, maybe a percent or two, or less than two percent, uh, just over a percent of accuracy between the two. So they're both reading approximately the same thing. All right, so um, that means then what, what's wrong with my efficiency? So um, I started researching this and I said, you know, I don't understand. There, surely somebody else had noticed this. And so sure enough, I dug around and I started seeing indications that the trip meter in the Tesla uh, monitors the kilowatt hours used to actually move the car. The energy that you actually uh, consume while the car is in drive. It does not, um, and it's, it's clear to me now, that it does not measure the energy that's consumed when the car is idle, you know, like put it in park, you're sitting in it, or the preconditioning, or the 
cabin overheat protection, that energy actually is not tracked on the trip meter, which is what I was using. Now Marianne uses the Model X like a uh, mobile uh, video studio. Uh, yeah, where she How about home office? Home office. Um, you know, it's basically, uh, she, she will typically go somewhere and possibly set five to ten minutes uh, doing rec video recordings or taking pictures or checking her phone. So that energy to cool and maintain the uh, cabin is not accounted for in the trip meter. So that was a, that was my mistake. Um, was thinking that that trip meter collected it. Now, to save you a little time, and I'm not trying to say I have exhausted every possible nook and cranny in the Tesla forums, but it has been made uh, pretty clear to me from what I did read that there is no place on the Tesla 17-inch uh, LCD screen that you can get to that will show you the actual energy that was stored in the battery. Now you can certainly calculate it uh, using the uh, added range. In other words, when you went from 180 miles to 200 and charged it up to 250 miles, that added range you uh, can use a watts per mile calculation uh, or constant and calculate how many kilowatt hours actually went into the battery. And when you're sitting idle, uh, running the air conditioning in park, uh, the range will decrement down. It will uh, be reduced and you can certainly ca calculate that also, again, using a constant. Uh, I, that's just, the, that's just the way it is with Tesla. So the, the efficiency of our charger has uh, nothing to do with it. I think our charger is um, charging uh, is very efficient. It's just that the other the energy is not accounted for. They call it vampire loss, uh, among other things. But I have good news. Uh, I have found another tool uh, called uh, Tesla Fi, uh, T E S L A F I dot com. And it is a tool uh, that will use the Tesla API uh, and talk, communicate to the car and extract lots of wonderful data and pr put it on a nice uh, screen that you can see. And one of the things that it will do is actually track your charging efficiency. And now I've only used this one night, so this is very preliminary, but the results look very encouraging. Last night, when it charged the car, um, Tesla Phi said that it added 38.4 kilowatt hours to the uh, were used uh, from the power company, which very closely matches um, within 0.4 uh, kilowatt hours the digital meter, and, and uh, like less than one kilowatt hour compared to the analog. So the um, algorithm that the Tesla Phi uh, is using to calculate the energy um, used to uh, charge the car is very accurate or is accurate enough. And it also uh, using um, those uh, range values, um, uh, added range um, calculations, it calculates the actual amount of uh, energy that has gone into the battery so I'm going to believe that that number is pretty accurate so uh, I don't have to calculate my charging efficiency anymore because Tesla Phi tells me that my charging is, uh, efficiency is 86.7 percent for last night and I have no doubt so uh, about that so the long story short I did a nice amount of work I think that this is a very good the uh, I would recommend you, if you're going to install a receptacle and you have room, go on, spend the 15 bucks and buy you a Chinese kilowatt hour meter and go on and install that at the same time. I don't recommend that you go out and do an analog. This was quite a, quite a bit of a, a work to do this. But the simpler answer is, is forget all that, uh, pay $50 a year and get a Tesla Fi and you'll get all the charging numbers that you could ever want, plus all the trip data. 
uh, all the different places you've gone. Yeah, Don now knows exactly 100% every location I've been shopping at that's or right. playing Pokemon Go at. I'm not sure that's a good thing. So no, it's okay. And it, and it displays it in a nice uh, uh, format. Uh, I'll, I'll leave you a, a link to uh, the Tesla 5 YouTube video that I used uh, to, to, to decide about going on doing it. They do have a free trial. I am under the free trial. Uh, I anticipate I mean I will be signing up for this service because I enjoy the numbers uh, you may not be but at this point uh, there is no charging inefficiency the uh, issue is that the trip meter which I thought measured all the energy that went into the battery and all the energy that went out of the battery uh, does not it only measures the energy that is uh, leaves the battery uh, to drive the car. That's the only energy it accounts for. It does not account for the energy going into the battery uh, or anything like that. It doesn't account for the air conditioning and things of that nature unless you're actually in drive. Okay, so hope this was helpful. Um, didn't mean to get really long. Uh, uh, have a great day.